brilliant time there for the first round, 136.9, and nothing to add. Can he do that again? Can he leave all the cones intact? And away he goes, clear so far. And this is very quick indeed. He'll be full of confidence from his previous round. Obviously, he knows exactly what he's got to do. He's really up for it. He knows exactly where he's got to go. He knows how fast he can go, and he knows how fast he was last time. His control is absolutely second to none. So quick around these turns. Shaves every corner, leaving these cones in sight. He's still clear again. A remarkable performance yet again here from Void XL. Two eighty-eight point seven one is the total time for Thomas Eriksson. Of course, if Void XL can stay clear and duplicate his first round, even look at this. This is a shorter course. He was one thirty-six point nine previously. If he could only duplicate the first time, let alone go in the shorter way, he would beat the other man. This is quick, very quick indeed. Oh! Good recovery. Two eighty-eight point seven one to beat. He's got a lot of time left to beat that. And he says that's good enough. Two fifty-three seventy-seven. What a stunning win there for Australia's Boyd XL. That is the champion. And didn't he drive like a champion today? An absolutely brilliant performance there from this enigmatic Australian that makes driving look so simple when of course it's not. A stunning victory there, 253.77 and that has put a smile on the faces of all this great crowd here. Their wonderful driving enthusiasts in Switzerland. 253.77. Second place, Tomas Eriksson from Sweden. 288.71, it was as wide a margin as that, and from the home nation here from Sweden, uh, Switzerland rather, Werner Ulrich, 303.45. What a great drive there from this great Australian, Void XL.